Yeah, I think the airplane has definitely established a new standard in comfort, uh, in flexibility. Uh, I think you know that Boeing got an architectural award for the design of the interior of the airplane, which is very pleasing to the eye, very high ceiling, very smooth lines. I think one of the real advantages in the 777 is the perception of space inside. Because one of the difficult things we have as designers is to try to accommodate all the carry-on baggage and yet not close in the cabin. So the 777 really sets a new standard. The experience with Malaysia Airlines was they had a very good idea what they wanted when we started talking with them about the 777. So we did a lot of research into the art, the architecture, the types of colors that you see in nature, and then we applied that type of information to several different schemes that we went through with the airline until we settled upon the interior that they have now in their new 777. Airplanes are very expensive and they last for 25 or 30 years. The chances are that over its lifetime, the airplane interior will need to be reconfigured several times. So we wanted to provide a method uh, that would allow the airlines to do that very quickly and inexpensively. We created zones of flexibility and provided a structural support system that allows the airline in an overnight uh, layup, they can go in and reconfigure there's seat zones, a larger business class, less economy class, move the galley and labs inside. It's like a sophisticated Lego set. Parts can be unplugged and moved around uh, very easily and efficiently. Boeing's Working Together team were awarded the prestigious Collier Trophy for Outstanding Achievement in Aviation for 1995. To the Boeing Company and the 777 team, for designing, manufacturing, and introducing into service the world's most advanced commercial airplane transport, the Boeing 777. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for a great company, a great team, and a great airplane. Literally every major airline in the world has purchased this airplane. Um, and, you know, if you look at the who's who of who is tops, in the world, they all got it. We intend to keep it very strong in the marketplace. It's a standard bearer for technology in the industry and efficiency and comfort for the customer and flexibility for the customer and the flying public. It's a faster airplane uh, than, than its competitors. Speed doesn't come into play really until you go long distance and it becomes more important. Airlines love range. I mean, you give them range, then they want more. And range really means flexibility. Uh, it allows an airline to utilize an airplane through so many different missions. As we look back on what we accomplished and what we see the future to need, we really feel that the 777 will be a lifeblood to, to the Boeing commercial group. If you took a really good flying airplane out there, which we consider most all of our Boeing airplanes to be really good flying airplanes and made it better. That's what you have with the 777. We're very pleased with, the, with this airplane. I think it's going to be a world beater in the next century. Seattle, 5 a.m., April 26, 1997. Super Ranger, the Malaysian Airlines B777, is prepared for its delivery flight to Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Beautiful airplane. Yeah, totally. Non stop from uh, here to Kuala Lumpur, about 17 hours. A long uh, trip. trip. Preparations are completed for the flight as the Malaysian crew proudly survey their new aircraft. Morning, Hey! 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 As a Malaysian airline crew, as well as a Malaysian, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Malaysia for having this beautiful uh, state-of-the-art aircraft, Boeing 777, and we are proud to bring it back home today. Malaysia has the aim of becoming a developed nation by the year 2020. The opening of the new Kuala Lumpur International Airport in time for the 1998 Commonwealth Games and the delivery of this 
Malaysian Airlines' first B777, capable of flying non-stop between Asia and America, are two giant steps towards Malaysia's vision 2020. Uh, we're carrying close to 100 passengers on a twin engine aeroplane flying more than 16 hours. It is affected by itself. But, well, we did not make any application for that. Yeah? For the last 15 months, we had a team, an outstanding team, uh, that worked very closely with uh, Boeing. Firstly, to ensure that this aircraft is delivered to us on schedule, and you can see we have done that. And secondly, we wanted to bring some new innovation into our in-flight service. As you can see on board the aircraft, we have a flight uh, business center, we have uh, larger monitors and interactive entertainment systems. In order for us to do that, of course, we have to work very closely with Boeing. They gave us all their support, and I'm glad that at this point in time, we have managed to come up with an aircraft which we believe is the most luxurious triple seven in the world. I'm proud that Malaysia Airlines has taken this step to prove itself as one of the global competitors in this, in this business. And I reckon this aeroplane rather would take us there. The world record flight itself has proved to the world that Malaysia is capable of this task as well. And I myself being a Malaysian, very proud of the current situation Malaysia Airlines is taking as well. Sunday, 27th of April, 1997. Super Ranger touches down in Kuala Lumpur to the proud reception of Malaysian Airlines staff and ground crew. The B777, conceived, designed and tested by computer, has successfully completed its longest passenger flight ever. This is a great day for Malaysia Airlines because this 777, as you know, is the most luxurious and this is where we define our new product. Yeah, this is a very, uh, it's a defining day for us. Uh, I'm completely on top of the world. Award winner, world record holder. This is only the beginning of the B-77 story. The plane that will take aviation, both for Malaysia and the world, into the 21st century. Very small key for a big aircraft. <laughs>